Hey there everybody, welcome back to another video. Yes, I know another change in location. I'm still in my week-long European trip. And as of right now, I'm in the city of Hengelo, a little city in the Netherlands very near Enschede. So today I'll be doing something very unusual for my channel because I'll not be reviewing any old school um, hair grooming products or pomades for that matter. In fact, I'll be going through a food review. That's right, you heard it. A food review. In fact, what I'll be reviewing today is pretty um, out of the ordinary. It's something you don't see every day. And it is freeze-dried peaches. Contrary to what the packaging says over here and, what the, and that the company calls itself Astronaut Foods Company, I'll not call it Space Peaches or Astronaut Peaches, and I'll explain why um, near the end of this video. So let us just talk about this right now. It comes in a shiny reflective plastic packaging. And I really like the design of the packaging itself. I, I grew up in the early 2000s, which means that I lived through the shuttle era. And so you could say that I grew up with the space shuttle. And so it has a special place in my heart. And this picture over here shows the shuttle in orbit. And I can tell you exactly from which mission it was from. It is from STS-7, which was the very, very first flight of Space Shuttle Challenger. And this is um, the Challenger orbiter in orbit. And that's just really why I like the um, design of the packaging, because it is one of my all-time favorite pictures in the shuttle program. The description at the back, right over here. I'll just read it out to you. It says, enjoy your snack just as the astronauts do the freeze dried way. Astronaut ice cream as well as other freeze dried foods have been aboard space missions since the early Mercury missions. That is a lie. And just as I said earlier, I will explain this fact at the end of the video because um, let's just go through the actual food review right now. Let's open it up. It smells a little bitter, a little sweet, kind of fruity. It smells more like apples, if you ask me. And these are what the peaches actually look like. Very, very pale, very white. I expected them to be kind of more orangey or yellow just like peaches are but this is completely pale and white like it has all the life sucked out of it but to be fair this is freeze-dried so any moisture from it is being take has been taken away from the fruit it still has very much that um, peach shape though but given its color it looks more like pears to me right now and it feels very hollow actually like, uh, it feels super airy and it's really, really light. The smell is actually, um, if you just take out an individual piece of itself out of the packaging, it's almost um, invisible. It's a very subtle scent. And um, I'll just get to the actual tasting right now. All right, so it doesn't really taste much like peaches to me. And it tastes quite sour actually, which is what I really did not expect at all because peaches are normally very sweet. Peaches are some of my favorite fruits. And so I expect them to be um, really sweet tasting just like peaches. However, this one is just um, slightly sweet, but it's mostly sour. And when you just um, chew it in, it, um, it's kind of crunchy, but 
not too crunchy. It's like, um, it's pretty crunchy, but it also melts in your mouth at the same time. And as the moisture settles in, when um, your spit just kind of mixes in with the food, it feels a little more sticky and it feels like it's going to get stuck in your teeth a little bit. Like you would feel that um, burst of flavor when you just um, eat it, but after a while, it just um, it fades out a little bit. Yes, um, as you um, taste it in your mouth, you would still have the sourness right there and a little bit of sweetness right there, but most of the fruit flavor after a while just um, kind of, you won't really taste much of the fruitiness anymore. So these are actually a, a lot different compared to regular peaches and I definitely prefer eating regular peaches over freeze dried peaches. However, um, this is actually um, a really good idea to take out with you if you um, are willing to eat fruit but um, say you're going on hiking or some camping trips where um, maybe you don't really need that extra weight that peaches have. These are just a lot lighter than peaches, obviously. And given that it has moisture being sucked out of it, it has a much um, longer shelf life. And yeah, you can. it's pretty much portable stuff. You don't need any refrigeration like how um, a peach does need refrigeration. So I guess I'll just stop talking about the actual food right now because I, I guess you pretty much get the point already. And I'll get to the facts as I promised you earlier. So I'll explain why space food from this company is a lie and why astronaut ice cream is pretty much a lie. So um, let's get, let's talk about a little bit of history. Um, during the days of the Mercury program, the Mercury missions, there was no freeze-dried food. This packaging claims that freeze-dried foods like astronaut ice cream has been aboard space missions since their Mercury missions, which means that they're implying that NASA is still flying freeze-dried space foods until now, and they existed since the first managed space program. So uh, the Mercury program was the very first um, managed space program by the United States. Um, by NASA, and um, as far as I can recall, they did not eat any freeze-dried food at all. It, it did not exist back then. What they um, ate was a mostly tube food, like John Glenn, he was the very first American to actually eat in space. I think he ate a couple of um, sugar pills or um, sugar tablets or something like that, and um, a tube of applesauce. So tube food pretty much existed only in, in the early so in the early 60s, all the space food there was were just pills and tubes. And then the Apollo program eventually came after the Gemini program, which um, followed the Mercury program. So in the third man of space program, the Apollo missions to the moon, the Whirlpool company, which is a home appliance company in the United States, they came up with the idea of freeze-dried ice cream meaning that it's very ideal for astronauts to eat this and carry aboard their spacecraft because it's extremely, it's extremely, extremely light with all the moisture taken out of it. So um, you don't really have any excess weight while you're actually bringing food up there. And weight is obviously an important factor to think about when you're flying in space. So the Whirlpool company proposed the idea of space ice cream to NASA and they brought it up Apollo 7 just to see what it was like. When they came back, the crew of Apollo 7 reported that they hated astronaut ice cream. And since then it was not flown again, not only because the astronauts hated it, but it was also because it is pretty unfeasible to fly on a space mission. For those of you who've tried astronaut ice cream before, it is very, very crumbly stuff. So 
obviously if food in space is, is crumbly, the, the crumbs would just um, float all over the spacecraft and this can actually pose a threat because the little crumbles can just get sucked up and ruin the machinery and even just a tiny crumb can create massive problems. So since then, free strike ice cream was never ever flown into space again. And it was just a one-time thing actually. Ice cream, regular ice cream eventually was eventually flown to space in 1973, that's during the Skylab program, America's first space station. And let's talk more about freeze-dried food. Other than freeze-dried ice cream, NASA never ever brought completely freeze-dried food like this one into space. In fact, what they brought is actually something called them. Um, one of the types of uh, many types of space food are something called IM foods, which are close to freeze-dried foods, which stand for intermediate moisture. This means that these particular foods um, have been sucked. The moisture has been sucked out of them, but not completely. There's probably at least a good um, 10%, maybe 25 around there um, left of moisture remaining in the food. And when it's time to eat them, the astronauts would inject some warm water into them to actually um, bring back some moisture into the food. So there was never any freeze, completely freeze-dried food brought up there and completely dry um, food, fruit for that matter, hasn't ever been eaten up in space because they actually need to heat it up with some water. And I hope this actually clears up in some common confusions because people actually think they're eating real space food when they eat this or some astronaut ice cream. And as of right now, the public actually cannot eat actual, real American space food. And here's another interesting thing though. The Russians are more fair in that matter because quite recently, a few years ago, um, a Russian company released the um, actual tube food eaten on board the ISS and the Salyut missions back then. And these were the actual real um, foods eaten by the cosmonauts until today. And you can actually buy them on eBay if you're willing to spend a lot of extra money. So the tube would set you back for approximately, I don't know, $15 excluding shipping. I'm thinking of buying one myself actually to see what real space food is like. And for those of you who actually enjoyed variety in my channel, I actually hope you um, enjoyed this video. And please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. As for those of you who are completely new to my channel, I don't normally do this at all because my channel is mainly filled with hair grooming product reviews, particularly those that are old fashioned. So if you're, if you dig that stuff, um, please don't hesitate to actually subscribe to my channel and check out my other content and I'll see you in my next video.